what is happening people we are back again for the final three games today we are away at the hendon playing field playing against one of our biggest rivals ever it's crickwood fc now if we look at the table we are currently top and the only team that can catch us at the moment is whetstone however if we do manage to win today and whetstone do not gain any points we will be crowned the winners of the league for the first time in our entire history so today could be an absolutely crazy crazy day it can be a history for me de villa and let's see who's going to create that history today if we do win it's going to be ivan in goal as always ever so reliable for us the back line alexi romeo ruben and damiano just ahead of them in the midfield is going to be the duo of costa and Wayne ahead of them the front four Tay, Pedram, Kyle and led today by Alex but let's look at the rotties on the bench <laughs> on the bench we've got Ahmed, Ant, Juan, Kaz and Tommy this is a big game let's see what the gaffer's got to say listen, listen, listen. right so <laughs> <laughs> exactly this is all about look at the look at the weather conditions is the first thing I'm going to call out today it means anything can happen today Long free kicks that are like defensive go in because they loop with the wind. So let's be calm and understand what we're doing today. All right. Last week we were one 0 down for 70 minutes. I went back in the tape and I actually had to listen to it three or four times over. Yeah. But there was one thing that was really important that I called out from that second half performance. There was a little moment where the ball's gone out of play. Alexi's gone to grab it, giving it to someone. He turns and he literally goes to Leicester. He's like, "Yo, Leicester, do something magical." Less than a minute later, he scores a goal. Yeah? It's the little things in, in the football pitch when we're together, the little instructions, the helpful instructions, the right communication that makes all the difference. Literally, he's about to get, get this throw, he turns to Leicester, he's like, yo, Leicester, do something magical. And like a minute later, Leicester scores that goal, gets us back on track and we win the game. It's the finer details on these football pitches, boys. And it does make a difference. Me and Rui were analysing the game and I literally paused it, rewound it, shown it again. And I was like, listen to that. The right instruction on Sundays can make us animals and make us invincible with a team unit that believes in each other. It makes a massive difference. And today is no difference. They're going to be right up for this game. You think because they were late, they don't care. You think they have a moment, so they come and we smoke up six from our house. Yeah, windy day, they love it. They pitch, they love it. Yeah, they're going to be ready for you, boys. We've got to come correct. With the right energy to blow them away in that first half. Take their souls if we have to. This is our league. We have to go out there and win. All right. Good. Listen, one of the instructions, yeah, last week when we went 1-0 down, yeah, and then we lost a player, when we had to do two banks of four, it worked so effectively. Do you know why? Because we were really robust and hard to break down. And I want us to kind of employ that. So Alex is naturally going to come deep and pick up the ball to feet. Petram, when you see that, you have to stretch the pitch and go in beyond. When you see him coming in as that false line, you have to then go, even if it takes a defender and you don't get the ball, all right? Take that, make that, like, make that stretching of the pitch. When Alex comes deeper, we don't need two of you in there. You're then licensed to go a little bit more forward, all right? But only when you see Alex come deep to pick up the ball, I want to see Tay and Kyle penetrating runs in behind. We don't need to actually put the ball in the air, boys, but I do want early shots. With the wind. Exactly. Yeah, put it on. You've got to put it your pass. When you get when you get the ball on the wing, a, a ball across the pitch to someone in some space, it's a tap it. And it's 1-0 and away we go. <laughs> well, but listen, listen, lads, wait, lads, 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 what I said about boys, what I said about communication is so important. Yeah? The communication has to be right from minute one. It's us against us, yeah? Never Forget that, go out and get the free Come on, 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 here we go guys you know what i can't lie i'm a little bit nervous this is a massive game imagine imagine the scenes made the villa comes to play away at one of our biggest rivals and if you guys don't know we've played against these guys very few times um in the past most of the times they've had the upper hand on us however but this season we've had an astronomical turnaround um we've played incredible football all season through we've had this team I'm, I'm honestly in love with this team every single player they're incredible football players We've joined together as a brotherhood and i'm so so proud of them um but yeah 
this is a crazy, crazy opportunity. We could do the unthinkable. Four years ago, when this club was built, uh, my brother and Pedro, the, the the manager. I mean, they've they've seen all. I didn't even get to experience it, but you know, they had times where they didn't even have any subs on the bench. People people would turn up to the game hungover, um, and you know, them more so would understand the turnaround of the club. Because now we have, you know, we have a full squad every single game. Everyone's turning up, ready to go. You know, most of the time we're turning up early. We're getting warmed up. We're really prepared. So, regardless of what happens today, everyone can be proud of themselves, um, including you guys. So, I appreciate all the support that anyone's ever showed to the Villa up to now. But anyway, let's focus on the game. We've got a big game here. Um, as you heard from the gaffer, the conditions are extremely windy. Um, so... We're gonna have to play the, to the conditions. Uh, the pitch as well isn't the greatest, you know. That standard Sunday league stuff. And uh, yeah, look at that. That that just, you know, what? I didn't even time that. But look how crazy the timing of that is. I'm talking about it being windy. It's so windy it blew the whole camera over. So yeah, uh, just you know, a little behind the scenes. I'm underneath the camera right now, holding it in place by the tripod to make sure it doesn't drop over. So I didn't really get to move too much in this game. I can had to sort of stand still. But regardless, it was an enjoyable game. Yeah, um, we've got a little bit of a different lineup today as we see Tay on this left hand side. He tries to roll into Alex with some tidy feet. He also brings it out left. He tries to find Tay in the middle and Tay with some nice work, just unable to get anything onto it. Um, it's going to fall to Kyle here. You know how fast Kyle is. Lightning Mikhail would like to call him. Drops to Damiano at the right back position. Some good football here, passing and moving from the boys. Great link up play. Cost into Alex. And Alex just tries to feed Costa through again. But that is a great start. Five minutes in. And the boys are showing some real intent to get a goal here. From the corner is whipped in. It's going to fall to Costa again. Going to fall back out to the corner spot. Where Alex is going to try whip a ball in. But Crickwood are doing very good to defend. But Alex must slivered his way through. It's fall to Kyle. Kyle shoots. And Wayne of the header. But just over the bar. Yeah. Windy conditions. Um... The boys are up for it. Ball was played out to Kyle out wide. Kyle, some great feet, very fast. Gonna fall into Damo. Gonna find Costa in space in the middle. Costa with a shot. Another great shot here. Ten minutes into the game, we've already had two possible goal scoring opportunities. This is really good. It's always good to be on the front step because you're more likely to score a goal and you're not really gonna concede if the ball's on the other end of the pitch. You know what I mean, but again, a bit of fast moving on the left. The ball's going to drop to Alexi, and Alexi's going to be this trademark dribbling, driving. It's going to fall to Alex in the middle, holds it down. Pedram! Great shot, but a great even save. But yeah, what I was going to say is this lineup today is not the most conventional or, you know, normal lineup for us. Um, we have Alex up top, who, to be fair, most of the season, he's either played either left back or maybe like one of the attacking mid positions. But he's a very technically inclined player, very good. Um, and the sort of play, I think, game plan today is for him to, you know, be up top, maybe drop in a bit. As we see the main man we're talking about here, Alex, on the ball. And uses technical ability to sort of, you know, let the runners play through. As we've shown here, Kyle's on the right. Some good footwork. He tries to, you know, do a nice little flick into the corner. And he is going to win us a corner there. 19 minutes into the game. You know, we've, we've, we've been on the front foot, but to be fair, nothing really too dangerous. But, oh... Look at that, the nice feet out of Alex just to get out of danger. Damo just going to try to whip a ball. The great ball to be fair, finds Pedram. Pedram's had a good amount of opportunities already in this first half. He's done really well to use his body to be strong there. And Tay's going to do a good job there, just the battle as well. It's always important the boys just remember, you know, the, the values of Made the Villa. Working together as a team, pressing high and, and working really hard on the pitch because these things that have, have got us all these wins this season and have put us in an opportunity to possibly win the league in this game. And again, Wayne is Wayne is the main man. What I was just talking about there, Wayne is literally the main man. Um, he's been leading the team in, in that sense. Uh, speaking of leading the team, the captain of the team, Costa, putting in a fight as well. Yeah, Crickwood, they haven't been showing us too many problems. They haven't been showing us too many problems. The boys have been set out very well. By the manager Pedro. The managers in football in general don't get a lot of credit. And Pedro has a lot of uh, you know reason as to why we've been successful this season. Look at this, Alex on the breakaway. What a great save from the Crickwood keeper. We should be up 1-0 there. 
Let's have a look at a little replay again. Pass played a bit too heavy. Alex pounces on it. But what a great save. An absolutely incredible save from Crickle to keep us, to be fair. You have to give credit where credit is due. Maybe not if you look and hit that in the background, but the wind was absolutely, like it was, felt like I was in a tornado. It was absolutely crazy. Um, and on a pitch like this as well, look at Tay just running past everyone. On a pitch like this as well, it's not the easiest to play on, but the boys ain't here for excuses. The boys are just here to win. Dammer with a big throw, showing off his uh, shoulder work at the gym. And Pedram with another chance. Um, but again, this keeper has been doing well, to be fair. But it's second minute in. They've not got long left of this first half. Um, and the boys are still searching for this first goal. But you can you can sense it coming. Great football there. The ball's back to Damo. And look at that for wins. I don't know if that was the power of the force or if that was some Harry Potter. I don't know what that was. But the ball was kicked towards our side of the pitch. And it just done a 360 and went back the other way. So, again, if the camera falling over wasn't enough for you to show the conditions, then the fact that the ball's literally travelled um, about anyone touching it mid-air to show you how windy it is today. Um, listen, the boys are always doing good. Again, the more trademark stuff. You know when Alexi's on the ball, this left-hand side is going to dribble and drive. And he's popped a shot off as well with his right foot. And it's hit the side and netting. No goal so far. 45th minute. Still nil nil game. The boys have been absolutely dominating this first half, but there's no point dominating if there's nothing to show for it. And Ruben with some great defensive work there, massive tackle to stop any sort of danger. Cost of a loop and ball. It's a really good ball to be fair to Pedram, but he's just not fast enough to get there. He's gonna roll off. Well, so far, you have to look at the positives. The boys have been dominating with the entirety of this half so far. Um, they've created some great chances. But the only thing they have to look out for now is going into the second half. The wind is going to be blowing against them as the referee does blow the whistle for half time. Nil nil currently. Great showing though, but let's see what the gaffer's got to say because we need a win here. Right. First of all, the energy's flat a little bit. Yeah? But two, two laps of days ago when we actually get our chances. We've got, no one's taking any shots in the corners. No, no one's taking any like chances when they present themselves they're taking an extra touch or one extra pass we need to be clinical that was our half to go and get lots of goals you lot have done it you know may i remind you the league is on the line with this game the fucking league's on the line it means that you need to go and win this game boys they're going to be absolutely gassed by that nil nil they had no real chances and now they get the wind in their sails and we've got to go against that another thing to go against us the ref's not blowing it for us. Move on. No talking to him. No need to get involved with that. All right? Let's play it easy, boys. Let's let's trust in our ability. Now, now the ball's not going to go that far. We oi, we have to play short. We haven't we haven't got a choice here of like lumping it up forward long. That's not what we're doing. But wait, 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 wait. Second half, second half. We're going to have the wind against us. So if we try to do the long ball like these men from a kickoff, what's going to happen? Huh? We can't get it if, if it doesn't go up in the air. But oi, listen, listen. If we throw the ball up in the air, listen, 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 listen. If we throw the ball up in the air, Wayne, the ball's gonna come spinning back towards our own goal. We gotta see out for the back this one, yeah. With the wind blowing us, but also we have to get it out of the field. 100%. So, so, so what, will, what will work is if the ball gets to play to the centre backs, they initiate the press and then we can lump a ball forward. That gets us all up the pitch. And that's what we need to be doing. So let them initiate the press, hit the ball over to the channel, into the wing, or if in doubt, kick it out. I don't give a f boys. No nonsense in second half, alright? No nonsense. Alexi's got something about him. He's going to start. Pressing him with the pace and strength, Alexi. I need you to cause problems here, yeah? Come on, Alexi. You've ready, you've, ready, you've, ready, you've ready had a goal on site here. I need to shoot early. Get the Just a little bit from the ball. Boys, we're so close. Just a little bit from the ball. Get the goal to the lead. Everyone, calm. Wait, wait, wait. Everyone, get in it. We'll be leaving. We'll be leaving. We'll be leaving. Bell, we need you. Get in it. We want you, boys. We want you. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's be chill. 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 I talked about our last game, right, when we had the top of the table clash, second versus third place, us against Northwest Wolves. The team talk that Pedro gave at the halftime and the start of the game, you could just feel what was different. When, you know, we're edging that bit closer, you know, the league finishing, 
us possibly having you know the chance to win it the first trophy ever in our history and you could just feel the passion honestly the team talks the last few games have been incredible but if you guys haven't watched that video go click in the top right corner that game was absolutely incredible we're playing against northwest wolves yeah the reason why again i'm gonna keep stating it uh, this is a must win game not only because crickwood are one of our biggest rivals in our history but because if we don't win this game our next two games is going to be against nissi and whetstone we're both very good teams nissi we beat in the first game of the season and what was it, a crazy game we beat them 5-0 those red cards those fights they're going to want to get revenge against us and whetstone are also a really good team i believe they have the most goal difference in our league if i'm not mistaken so they are two incredibly hard games and if we don't win here it's going to make it not impossible but very hard to have a chance of winning the league but the boys here they've been set out of the focus um the gap has changed up the the position a bit he's moved alexi up to the striker position um alex over to the right attack and mid and then you're gonna have to see kyle drop back to the right back position and damio on the left back position so we're hoping that alexi can maybe you know give us a bit more attack and threat um, as Alex there off the right hand side of his left foot, it's a great shot, it falls back to him and this is going to lead to a quick counterattack. counter attack but I'm sure the boys can deal with this very well and they have Romeo showing his, his absolute maturity there in dealing with that but 49 minutes in, it's going to be a big throw coming in from the right hand side from Romeo, nodded on by the big man Wayne uh, but Alex has flicked on, Alex has flicked on and Costa's on the ball, I couldn't even see what was going on but we get a goal after searching for this goal for 50 minutes we tried it every way possible and it just would not come but the boys were persistent they continued to go again and again and again and that's how you get a goal people Romeo with a massive throw two header flick-ons from Wayne and Alex and Alexi and Costa and you know this absolute mosh pit of blue and yellow shirts and Costa the leader, the captain of Maida Villa, finds a way. And like that, Maida Villa are up 1 0. They are that step closer to victory. And look how much it means to the boys. Kick off, and they're straight on it. And the long ball's played through, but Ivan, again, ever so calm. I talked about it a lot last game. Ivan's character arc, his. his his maturity and the way he's built himself from the start of the season getting sent off in the very first game as our goalkeeper to now is incredible it really shows the growth that these boys have gone through and yeah man i'm just so proud to be a part of this team anyway another big throw flicked on again by the big man wayne again by alex almost as if like we we're trying to recreate the first goal but it's going to lead to a quick counterattack. counter attack a big ball's played over the top. It misses Ruben. This is going to leave a three on two at the back. How the Wiz to deal with this? Ruben's going to hold them off there. Number seven's found some space. He shoots and forces a massive save out of Ivan. Ivan with the second save. And Ivan with the third save. I was talking about his improvement. In the big game against one of the biggest rivals. In a game that could mean absolute calamity in our title push and the man that was playing in goal for us in the first game of the season and got sent off he lost his head look at the growth from this man Ivan absolutely showing how class of a keeper he is a triple save while we're up by one goal to keep this cushion what a keeper Ivan is but anyway 54th minute Wayne being a bully in the midfield again and if you don't remember from that team talk Pedro said we need Alexi. Alexi, I need you to cause problems here, yeah? And he showed up. What a finish. This goal, we have to look at it again. All created by the big man himself, Wayne. He wins the header. There's loads of shirts everywhere. It doesn't matter. Wayne, he emerges through the flames like a phoenix out of the dust. It falls to Alexi. He uses his body as strength. And he fires the ball bottom corner. From nil-nil, from zero goals, from us searching for a goal, for a bit of hope out of nowhere. The boys have emerged with a level of passion and fire 
that can only be seen in the Maida Villa camp. And the boys are up 2-0, 55 minutes in. There's 35 minutes left to play of this game, plus some change as well. And the boys are pressuring. Tay is on him like a hound, hungry, ready to eat, a true rotty. The boys are fired up and I'm here for it. 56 minute, Ivan with a little kick there from, from the goal. Gonna fall to Alex who brings it down ever so nicely. And I've talked about so much in this season ever since Alex has joined. How composed is on the ball. Pedram into Wayne in the middle. And Wayne continuing to battle and he merges again. Wayne truly is the bully in the middle of the park. Players see the big number nine and they fear him. And I'd be scared as well. But look at this, Alexi. All the boys just continuing to fight. Making sure no crickwood player has any sort of breathing space. Damiano with the big throw on the left side. The boys taking a bit of time here. Not trying to force nothing. The big ball's played over the top. And to be fair, the crickwood player has done well to take it down. He shoots. But it's easy. It's easy for the keeper of, of Maida Villa. It's easy for Ivan. But Ivan he rolls out to Pedram. And Pedram with a little misplaced pass. But a shot. And is well defended from Romeo. Out, safe, away from the goal. Even though the boys are up 2 0, you don't know how football works. The game can change in a matter of seconds. The boys have to defend very well here. Pedram, some nice little feet there. Playing some good football between himself and Damiano. Damiano's probably going to lay it off back to Pedram. Pedram with the big kick all the way up, just getting the ball out of danger. And it falls to Alexi. Alexi with a great ball, ready through to Tay. And Tay with the shot. Again, the Crickworth keeper has been keeping this team in it for the entirety of this game. If it wasn't him in goal, this could be looking very bad for Crickwood. A big kick from the keeper, falls to Romeo, and they've played a ball through the number 10 of Crickwood. And Ivan with another big stop, and Ruben putting his life on the line. He must sound like a little panda roll there. What? Ah, oh, boys, honestly, the defending, the attacking. What a performance. You can even see the sideline with a round of applause. The boys are showing themselves up very well here. Again, look, Brickwood, they haven't had many chances, but when they had, they have been good ones. Ivan, great stop. And Ruben, putting his body in the way, just making sure that it's as hard as possible to score. And he's done very well there to defend or made the Villa. Anyway, 65th minute on the clock. Not too long left to play of the second half but still a lot of time left for some more controversy some more goals possibly um and we'll see but crookwood they are picking up the pace a little bit now but turn and ivan again ivan is he's coming up trumps today honestly i don't know what he put in his weetabix but he's woken up today with a different type of fire in his belly and the boy is giving a little way as the Crickwood player misses the ball. And Tate's coming for the tackle. And listen, in a rivalry, these things are going to happen. People are going to get thrown about. Luckily, the boys have come very mature. I'm very, to be fair, I'm, I'm proud of Taylor for coming away because I know a lot of people, if they got thrown around like that, they'll try to swing. So, well on to Tay, showing again. Just because the boys are out here, they're Rottweilers, they're, they're vicious and they want the ball. Doesn't mean they can't also be reserved and, and mature as well. So well done to Tay there. Because um, I can't lie. I've seen a few people in this team this season not react the right way. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, 67th minute. And the boys are on a counter-attack. Alex sprinting for his life with the ball. And again, so composed. He's going to cut back. He's going to find Alexi out on the right. And Alexi finds Dama, who's run all the way from left back up to there. I don't know how he's got there. I thought that was going to be Costa. And Alexi's done well there. Um... Again, some more great defending from Crickwood. 69th minute from a corner. Alex and Kyle try to work it well. And the fall to Pedram. He's going to try to place the ball into the box. And it's cleared out again to this Crickwood player who, to be fair, has been causing us the most problems out of all of them. He's going to hold it up. He's going to try to find a pass. But Wayne's on him. And you know what happens. When Wayne is on a player, he's always winning that ball nine times out of ten. And even Alex was getting a ball. Ooh, the nice little feet. Go here, go there, go anywhere. Alex is going to... Uh, Alex again, quick feet, very good on the ball. But, um, yeah, you could definitely... What attack was off from Alex? 
boys are properly getting stuck in this game. Yeah, Crickwood have definitely in the second half been playing a lot better than they were in the first half. Um, but the boys have been doing even better to defend them and keep them out. Hey, and Alex playing some nice intricate football. And again, Alex with the fast feet. He's very versatile with his play. Can play multiple positions, can use both feet. Something that you definitely want on your team. And Tate is dispossessed. Going to lead to another possible counter for Crickwood. You can see they're moving the ball around a lot nicer now. The second half, the quality of football between both teams, to be fair, has definitely improved and is made for a lot better of a spectacle. When a 75 minute in, big, big kick with the defender from the goal kick there. Forces number seven. He's going to take a shot and it's just wide. Just wide. To be fair, the boys have been doing well, but there's only so much you can do um, to defend. He's going to fall to this number 10, even gets a hand to it, but he's just going to roll in. To be fair, that goal was coming. That goal was coming. Crickwood have been vigilant. They've been, you know, they've stuck to it. They've been determined to score, and they have found the goal. Tay's going to come off for Ants. Just going to freshen up the legs. Pedro is. He's normally quite good with a sub, so hopefully that does make an impact. Yeah. There's only so much you can defend in a football game. Eventually, they are going to break through the wall. But I'm confident that the boys have been playing very well so far. If they continue to do so, they should be okay. But we'll see. 78 minutes. 12 minutes left of football with normal time. Who knows how much the stoppage time. Pedram is going to come off for Ahmed. Alexi is going to drive on his left-hand side. He's going to find Ahmed in the middle. And Ahmed, with his first touch of the ball, could have put the Villa up, winning 3-1 at this time was a great chance to be fair Ahmed has been a very good sub for the Villa super sub I like to call him so impactful do you know what it is just every t I've said it to him as well every time he gets subbed on he's either got a goal or assist I swear he's like the most impactful sub I've seen but anyway great football play between Ant and Costa tight spaces gonna fall to Costa Costa turns he burns and is 3-1 Costa the man of the armband the leader for made the villa and he's showing how you lead by example what a great goal that was the sequence between ants and costa was impeccable let's have a look at that goal again as costa strikes it top right corner what a finish it falls to ants again some nice football one two play there and answer as well to turn him keeps with it and costa uses his body Sends that guy to the shot and puts the ball top bins. Have that, he says. Have that. Anyway, Wayne's going to come off for Kaz. You can see them hugging, showing the love. Alex is going to come off for Tommy. Some fresh legs. And there's not long left to be played. 86 minutes played of football. And the boys have done ever so well. The performances out of the boys today has been impeccable boys have shown heart they've played football they've scored goals it's been absolutely incredible to watch and speaking of scoring goals the man of the match sponsored by magic bubble drink is going to go to the captain the leader of made the villa costa this easily could have gone to wayne alexi even ivan all three of those players played incredible but costa the two goals scoring the first goal and the third very very impactful he's, he showed the work rate as well worked very hard um, so he's going to earn the man of the match for today. But yeah, 91st minute. Surely not long left on the clock. The ball's played up to Alexi. Can the Villa get maybe another goal? The referee blows the whistle. And made the Villa come away again. For the second time this season against the biggest rivals that they've got. FC Crookwood with three points. A step closer. Magical, magical stuff. What a game. Absolutely played from the Villa. During these past years, made the Villa has been through a lot. Season after season, old players and new, all meeting the same fate. Failure. To the point where the club almost collapsed. The club was built in 2020 during the time of COVID to bring together a group of men to find a sense of purpose in a daunting time. Despite the constant failures, loss after loss, poor season after poor season, we never gave up. 
we've had good times and even darker moments but we always sensed a light at the end of the tunnel in this pre-season the boys went to an international tournament in portugal and despite only placing third they found a connection that would forever change the path that May de Villa would take. We came into the season ready for war, playing incredible football. And I am so proud to say that after four years of failure, four years of blood, sweat, and tears put into May de Villa, we are finally champions. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next video for our penultimate game of the season against Nissi, where we will lift the trophy that we have been searching for for the last four years. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video and subscribe and make sure to turn on your bell notification because you're not going to want to miss the next video.